Hi, welcome back. So I hope you guys enjoyed the last video where we made this beautiful um, double-sided tree of life pendant and where you learned to construct a frame in such a way that we sandwiched all of our tree attachment ends um, in between these two big wires so we don't have to worry about them fraying out or feeling them. And now I just want to, you know, add some additional embellishments. Um, we added the moon and we bent up the two frame wires and we hammered them, but what if, what if I just want another wire and, you know, make it a little fancier? So um, I'm going to show you how to add another wire. So this is 12 inches of 18 gauge round. My frame was 16 gauges, uh, 16 gauge. So I'm going a, a step down and getting 18 gauge round to do the add-on. You could do 20 gauge round here as well. You could even do 22, whatever your preference is. And I'm just going to find the approximate um, center of the wire. And I'm going to use my round nose plier. And I'm just going to um, bend an approximate uh, uh, bend a U shape in it. Um, and I'm doing it the approximate width of my of my neck of my pendant here. So uh, I looked, you know, down my plier and said, okay, well, about midway uh, down my plier is about the width that I would need. You could just as easily, um, you know, bend it in half after you attach it onto here. So it should just fit your neck kind of nice, just like that. All right. We have to attach it, and so rather than tying it on to anything, um, I'm going to make a 90 degree bend in the tip here. And I'm eyeballing, you know, right about here. It's about a quarter of an inch to make it to the other side of the bale. So I'm going to take my, you can do it with flat nose, you can do it with, you know, your nylon jaw. And I'm just going to grip it that approximate distance, about a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to turn these wires up to 90 degrees and just make a little bend in this wire. It's just going to help me, um, you know, get it, get around to, to tucking it in when I curve these to the other side. Okay? So, what I want to do is feed um, this wire, these two ends, into my tree frame. Okay, the wire is long because you know maybe I want to do some fancy decorations and, and other things. Yours doesn't have to be this long, but rather than struggle this big loop, I'm going to dive my ends in here first. I'm going to bring the head of my um, bend down to the front of my bale. So do you see how that was a lot easier than trying to work these ends in? Um, and then I can just hold on to the one end hold on right here and get a nice upturn on both of these wires. Try to make it as even as you can. You can use your pliers if you need to to help you. Just like that. I'm pretty much, um, I've attached onto my frame. I was doing this kind of quick, but my little bits are not even here. You can see this side is a little bigger, and it might be if you have a tree root or something in the way there. But you can just use your plier and get a tighter squeeze on that. Okay, and now you have this wire added on that you can do some additional design, some additional frame design with. Okay, and you can do whatever you want with it, but that's a nice clean way to add it. Okay, so what can I do uh, with this attached wire then? Um, lots of stuff. Maybe I want to make some curly up here. Um, at the bale. So I'll do that. I'm just going to hold my little wire right here so I have some, I'll brace it a little bit and just spin this over the bale and make a little loop if I want there. Okay. I could even go 
one more time around. I have two sides of this beautiful frame, so I might want to make one decoration on one side and then some decoration on the other side. And I'm just doing a real simple spiral right there. You know, maybe I want to make something more in these tree roots. Maybe I have to bury um, or cover some some straggly bits. And you can do this to your liking. What I want to point out down here is that you've got. Let me adjust my camera. You've got some you know, real convenient spaces that we left ourselves to to dive attached wire into, see? So if I wanted to catch this big wire down here um, and just, you know, leave myself a little channel because maybe I'm going to do some bead balls right in there, um, then what I could do is I could dive it, you know, right, right into uh, that that tip right there. So I'll pull it out a little bit and show you. Just get it into there like that. Reshape it before you lock it down. Make sure it looks the way you want it. And then you can, you know, you don't have to flip back up on this side. I like that there. This gives you enough room to tie in some bead balls if you want to. Or just gives you some more, some more thickness to the frame if you need it. And uh, I can do something fancy to lock it in down here by, um, you know, maybe I'll do a little. Just bring it over. Oh, I got off camera. I'm sorry. All I did was pushed it over that loop, so I locked it in right there. Make sure not to pull out your wire from over here. We'll have to attach that, of course. Tie on some bead balls. And then you can just flip it to this side. Make the flip cute um, if you need it, some more pointy stuff down here. Otherwise, just make it nice and tidy and tight to the frame. And I can hold it right there. Kind of bend it back this way. See, I've just added a little more something, something here to the bottom of my frame. This is totally optional, of course. Okay, so I just added that extra little bit right there. It looks cute. Um, you know, I feel like there's curl and there's curl, maybe. You know, or maybe I have some roots there that are kind of messy and I need to do something. Or maybe not. You know, maybe I can just make some more design where I feel like it. I think what I'm going to do is hold it right there and run it. It's kind of plain over here. Get a nice slope. And maybe I want to make something kind of like a heart come around my moon. I don't know. I can always cut it off. I don't feel like anything on the end of it. Oi! Don't think I like it. Open it up. I'm just playing with some ideas here. Ooh, that might be cute, huh? I could hammer that and then it'd be cute against this one. Okay, let's do that. Alright. Let's do that. We'll clean them up. So, to hammer it, Here's your hinge, remember that. Take it down 90 degree. Get your block out. I'm going to cut this off just slightly. I'm going to cut the tip off and I'm going to cut it at a slight slant. Just like that. Where did I put that down? I bought this new hammer. 
in preparation for my old faithful to give out, but I don't know. All right, so anyway, hammer this edge, hammer this curve, and then hammer the tip. Nice and light and in control. Let me get the focus down. I'm just going to flare out the curve. And then taper into the more, you know, straightaway areas. Just until you like it. Oh, make a focus. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And you can take your jeweler's file and you can get a little file on it if you need to clean it up. Just clean up the edge a little bit. Soften that tip a little bit. And then certainly while it's uh, way out here, you can sand it if you need to sand it. I'm just going to save us time and not sand it, but you could certainly take a little sandpaper to it. I know I'm filing wrong. I'm treating it like fingernails, but Get your edges off and make it nice. Take your sandpaper across it. And then gently fold it back up right here at the hinge. Make sure you control it right here. Okay, it's got to come back up on your frame like that. Ooh, it looks so cute. Cute. Probably going to have to tie it down too. And that's okay because you know you got a handy tree branch right there that you could just string a little wire across or if you don't want to come across the top and you start tying it off over here with some beads or something you know or just with some with some um, 28 gauge I don't do that until I get both sides down because I don't like to use too much wire. Maybe I can use something to tie them both down. So right now we're just going to get it like that. And then on this side, um, this up here starts to come a little jinky on me. You can just pinch it. And then that channel can be used for some nice beads. Look at that straggler. So I'll have to clip him way down here on the down low. Okay, so do I want some curly here? Probably because I have a you know just a utility space there. So uh, I could come do something different, you know, from this side if I wanted to. And just make a little thing, not do too much. Just something. You don't even have to do that. And I'm going to come back to this side because I got stuff on that side. Eh, you could do chaos curls up here. Actually, the more I'm looking at it, the more I might do that. Let's do one more little loop. And, and hold all this steady. You don't have to do any of this. I'm just going to bend it to this side, jump my wire to the other side so it's kind of like I've made this little corkscrew come down. Okay. So I'll come down this way. You don't even have to li have little wire, right? You can attach it by grabbing it um, with a loop. So, you know, my, here might be a nice spot. I'm coming from this side through the back, or the other side, I should say, there's no back, and just work back and forth as you pull slightly, and I'll help you take that, you know, a little bit there. If you need to use your plier to help you, you can, or if you're using smaller wire, this wouldn't be this difficult. So I'm using 18 gauge to do this, so it takes a little bit of a muscle here um, on this round wire. 
And if you were using smaller wire, it might not. I'm just taking my bent nose and I'm helping that turn a little bit. Keep the forwarding wire as nice as you can. Okay, so I got that little turn in. Okay, cute on both sides there. I like that. Okay, and I probably now got to fix this little bit that I took out of elegance. Okay, I got a straight bit there that I made cute again. All right, so um, I'm going to bring this down. Here I have a nice other, you know, another little channel if I want for weaving or for beads. Put my thumb right there and bend the wire back. If I feel like I need to attach it and grab it, you know, I got a space right here. Just make a cute something and lock it into that tip. Or I can hammer it and just lay it right down there, which is probably what I'm going to do. I like that idea. Or if I had some messy tree roots, I could, you know, make a little spiral live right there. Dive into that space and turn a spiral, a tiny one out of this big wire right there and cover my mess. You know what? Let's do that. Let's hammer it. This curve. Haha. <laughs> yeah, let's hammer it. It's challenging. And then we'll dip it into that face maybe or we'll flip it over and we'll cover up that little messy loose bit which is kind of left and tucked in there do you remember that from the tree build this guy if I didn't like that or it didn't live as nicely as I thought it was going to I could just uh, cover that little space you know put some more interest on the roots on the roots um, but then also strategically cover um, some stuff I don't want Okay, so I'm going to hammer this curve, okay? So I'm going to take it straight out right here uh, at the hinge, at the turn. And I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to get to where I can reach it. Holding it right here so that I have some leverage. Don't change any other bit of wire. And then you can just get on your bench block um, or your round anvil, whichever one you have, and uh, do the best you can to get the hammer on it. I'm going to turn it out to 90 degrees so I can get this edge. it back. Okay. Looks pretty good. Probably have to clean that up a little bit because I munched it the first time. You see how I got that nice little hammer there? And now I can hammer this bit. So, and that's the easy bit. just do it unique to you. You don't have to hammer at all. Look, I even hammered a little lower than I intended, but that's okay. Sometimes it's like a happy accident. Maybe I can go, ooh, that's kind of pretty. Yep, I like the way that just turned out. <laughs> so, so I'll just bend it right there. I'll save all that, and I'll just flip it back right, right here. Save my hammer. So first, because uh, you see how it's springing back, I'm going to make sure that my upper loop um, work carefully so that you don't wreck design now because it's real cute. I'm just going to tighten it, tighten it up slightly. Hold it right there. Bring my hammer down. Hammered wire down. And so right here, I'll just take it and um, give yourself, you know, a little bit, maybe six or seven millimeter. Hold it right here at the tip and bend it. Don't pull it, just bend it so that you can turn it to the opposite side, you see? There should be a nice space for it to turn right in there or somewhere down there. You probably got a nice space of your own. <laughs> and then if I feel like I want to do something more, I can do something more. If I don't, see, take it all the way around, 360, you know, not 360, but all the way around. 
like a hairpin. And then get up here and do a tight, a little slight squeeze. Okay, and so now you got this wire over here. You can tie it if you need to, you know, put a little put a little wrap right there if you need to, or wrap a little ball right there. And then now you've landed the end of this wire on this side, um, so you can make design with it. Um, so it's not tied yet, so I'm just going to hold it right here. And let's pretend that I just, um, I'm going to back bend it to get a little, whoop, I wrecked it, to get a little elegance in it. Don't wreck it. <laughs> My elegance went to poo-poo. Okay, and then I'll just turn it. I'll have to make my elegance again. <laughs> okay. That's close enough. I'm just fixing all that wrong bend I got. Carefully, you don't let the tip of that hit your pearl. And then, uh, so that little space is all I want to cover. So actually what I'm going to do is snip it. And then I'm just going to turn down the smallest curl. Hold the bottom tip because it's not tied in. And just get the turn how you want it. There was a little bit of loose wire there that I wanted to just cover. It's, it's an okay little cutie spiral enough. Okay, so before I cinch anything down, right, because it's coming off of this wire, it's still the same wire, I'm going to hammer that bit. So I'm going to hold it right here at the hinge and flip it out 90 degree so that I can get at it. Maybe more than 90 degree. Okay, I'm just hammer it up and then clean it up because it's on the well we want to clean all of these no matter where they are <laughs> we hammer them we intend for them to be on the front so we want to clean them up I didn't file and sand every single one of these hammers but you get the idea okay so I'm holding it all because it's still loosey goose so until I tie it So hammer, sand, file, and that, very clean. Now, put it back right there where the bend was, hold it, and then at the hinge, not at the tip, hold it all steady, betty, and tight, because it's little wire now, little hammered wire. Then come to this side and land it back into place elegantly. Okay, and hopefully yours is, that's pretty cute. I'm happy with that. And then you can use your plier um, and add a little elegance if you need to. I like to turn it into the frame um, elegantly. You know, just kind of try to bubble it a little bit so that it has this inward, inward lay so that that tip doesn't uh, poke. Just take and turn the tip in. And while it's all out here, it's easy to do. You know, once you tie it all together, then it's a little harder to work with. You would do that a little cleaner and neater than me, but you get the idea. You know, kind of get that thing sloping into the frame so it doesn't catch. And then here now, you can use some half round or you can use some 28 gauge and um, tie that tie that bit together. So I'll just use some uh, 28 gauge. And so here's a little trick. I just, you know, have some that are six inch pieces from uh, an old tree. Um, you know, some leftover. So when I need a bit, I can just pull it right out. You can see I just taped them. And then I can just pull little strands of six inches as I need them without having to grab that spool every single time. I'm just going to do it here at the bottom like a cop. Make three or four 
little utility wraps just to get that all together. You could put a jump ring down here too and you can add a little dangle bead if you want. Oh, everybody's eyes just lit up. I know it. <laughs> That's why we leave a little loop there. Um, so if we want to do some cute business like that, we can always do it. Otherwise, it just looks like cute pointy design here at the bottom. Okay, so I just made uh, two or three discreet little wraps right here at the tip to hold all that together. And you can do yours the way you like it. Okay. Just gonna take this upper one and do a few more around this. And then I'll cut it off. Ooh. A little tighter in this hot. You get the idea. Do yours a lot neater than you see me working here. But just make, you know, two or three nice little wraps and then you can tuck tuck them in right there to the bottom somewhere where they're not seen or felt. Just like that. You can sand all that up. Okay, so that's pretty cute. We just did this add-on curly Q wire, and we hammered it down, and uh, and that looks pretty sweet. I might tweeze this up here a little bit. Use your pliers, and you know, don't pinch anything because it's the front. But you can make some elegance by taking hard bends out. I put a hard curve up here, so. Just straightening it out. There we go. Some nice flow. That's what it's called. Some nice flow. And then uh, here's my little end. Just tuck it all back. Make sure there's nothing pointy. I might clean that blunt cut now. And that's cute, right? Add a couple of little beads there if you want to. A couple of little beads up here if you want to. Or none if you don't want to. Um, make sure that this is all stable. If it's not, you can tighten it up right here at that at that turn. You know, make sure the turn is pushed out so so the loop isn't too far in the frame. Get it up against the frame. Or how you like it. Mine was intended to be up against the frame a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna squeeze it tight there. Now that everything's tied together. Okay. So see I have a little little bit of a flare out. And that looks cute this together, it tightens it up, sand things, you know if I felt like I needed to tie this in, you could add a little, an extra little bit of 28 gauge, you know, right up here somewhere, if you need to, I don't really think you need to, and then check both sides, make sure it's all super cute, fiddle this guy a little bit. tightening there. Okay, nice channel for beads here, here, if you want them. Put a couple right here, some graduating ones, big ones, little ones. Okay, a couple up in here just for like star tiny little starry night balls. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's how you add on a wire. <laughs>